Oh, we're live now. We're live now. Welcome. And this is our podcast. We've been a while. I've been a while. Yeah, we've been away. And Wing's been to Japan for a cultural, uh, what's the word? Uh, event? Kind of no, cultural. We just visit. Get, get away. Get away. And uh, I've been busy doing some mods and some, obviously, uh, getting the site up to date and stuff like that. So, um, so on today's uh, agenda, we have. Uh, a quick talk about the CES 2017 show, which That's is Las amazing, Vegas. Isn't it? Loads of stuff. Then we'll move on to uh, a quick talk about KB Lake. Yes, uh, Intel launched their seventh generation Intel uh, KB Lake, and also the uh, AMD announcement of the Ryzen CPU and the Vega graphics card. Oh, graphics architecture. And then uh, we'll move on to some of the review roundup and project updates and some winner announcements and a new competition which is actually live right now, but we'll, we'll uh, give you some details. Yep. So let's move on to the CES 2017. So uh, loads of news, loads happening. I saw this amazing laptop from Razer. It's a concept though. It's three screens. It's man. a concept, it's not really, but it's just... How does it work? Is it default, the screen fold with, yeah, folds in? Yeah, folds in. Folds in? Okay. In. Wouldn't, the, wouldn't the laptop be super thick? Because it's yeah, I think it's probably thick. Wow. It's about like an inch and a half, but it's this, it's this concept. This is. This, it, it, it's to show that the on board, the thing is GTX 1080, yeah. the on mobile version can handle the three the, screens. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and the total screen resolution would be like a super wide screen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was one of those it's interesting. gaming, I guess. Yeah. And then also you watch porn one time. <laughs> Do some work on one and then watch YouTube. Yeah. You know, the and tons and tons of uh, manufacturers releasing the Z270 chipset uh, motherboards. So that was uh, interesting uh, to go with the Intel uh, KB Lake chips, the seventh mm -hmm. generation uh, Intel processor. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've had lots of comments about the chip itself. It's not a huge improvement in terms of uh, it's not like a next jump, next gen type of chip, right? So it, it goes with the Intel TikTok kind of uh, mechanism. So you know we had the Tik. Which was the Skylake, and now it's the Talk, <laughs> which is the uh, KB Lake. Mm -hmm. So, don't expect huge improvements over Skylake. I mean, the uh, Skylake processor. We have the i5, for example, the 66K. It's uh, still pretty good value for money, that one. And then, uh, 270 balls. I think everyone's doing this RGB business, right? Everyone's doing this RGB. It still is. Last year was a big thing, and this year is continuing. So, and it's funny enough, I think Thermaltake uh, sent us the uh, RGB CPU water bottle. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Oh, <laughs> RGB. Interested. Well, bits power. Bits power, um, I think they are working a lot on. Um, not I want to get through to Barrow. Barrow? I've seen them sponsor some lot of bills, and I want to speak to Barrow. You know? Yeah, good, yeah, we could, good we'll, stuff. We'll take a look because I've seen some of their their fittings and one of them was quite good. You know the the ball valve, right? But this one you don't need a ball valve. You just pull to release, push back to lock. Good race. They, yeah, they're quite nice. I like them. So um, lots of drones, lots of cameras, lots of gadgets, lots yeah. of motherboards. Oh my god, it's unbelievable! Lots of concepts. Concepts. Lots of concepts. We'll like... probably see more of that in real life in the competition. Yeah. Lots of new cases. It's like, it's like they're everything, everyone's held back in this CS, let it announce it. I don't I like it, it's too much. I've been posting like about 30 articles a day, <laughs> and that's not all of it, I'm just sure there's more. Tons of stuff, right? So I'm, I'm guessing the whole set copy that's gonna have about 500 new products. And oh yeah, I saw a, uh, a, a quick live stream, probably five minutes, I watched five minutes of it, is NVIDIA's uh, GeForce Now. Yeah, uh, that's okay. <laughs> it's basically you don't need to buy a graphics card. You just purchase a, sub a subscription to go online to play all your favorite games with GeForce graphics. Basically, it's a cloud type of GeForce, which I'm not sure if this can work. That's right? not they're gonna let me work on my internet connection. Yeah, yeah, it'll rape your bandwidth, and also uh, there are different packages. You can actually go for the more expensive. GeForce higher it range package, but then your hours of play and the bandwidth is going to kill you. you just buy a new graphics card. Just buy a graphics card from last year. It's a good idea for people who, I don't know, 
I, I don't know, was marketed for. Really. 1070. 1070 is good. 1060 is a very good price as well. Good value for money. And um, yeah. Which reminds me, you need to ask Zotac to get the 1080 mini. They have a 1080 mini? I saw, I saw, I meant Two I, fans. I saw some bits on that, but then I'm not sure if it actually yep. is just a gimmick no. uh, news that they just. No, it was a, it was a CS. Oh, right. Yes, yes, it's just perfect. Two fans, it's a three. Man, it's going to be red hot though, right? Yep. Mm. I can't fit it in my case, otherwise I'd try to fit it in. Yeah, and then uh, tons of um, news about KB Lake's performance versus the existing generation of Sky Lake. And um, also the balls to go with that. Um, Fair enough, uh, AMD also made an announcement, their Ryzen CPU. Or Ryzen, Ryzen. Um, not the reason, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's basically uh, it's really a big jump from what they have. So the 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 chip that they got now meant to have equal performance to an Intel, but at a lower cost. But That's what they need, say. But then you need a new board, AM4 socket, and um, we'll see. I mean, Intel fanboys will love it. And um, some of the uh, I haven't seen any. Um, which call it the, the new graphics architecture from uh, AMD, which is the uh, uh, RX 490. <laughs> yeah, the um, the AMD. But I mean, Ray, Razer Ryzen and, and the other ones, I mean, the Vega graphics card, the architecture meant to, to really kick some. That's what they you know, say. That's what they but say. But we haven't seen anything in. They uh, have some There's demos. Some, Intel's got a new architecture, 10 nanometers, coming out in September. Yeah. The 10. Yeah. Yeah, Tone, tons of new stuff. But you won't probably see more, any of this in market till probably later this year. So uh, but yeah, we'll we'll expect to get some samples from the, the AMP stuff. So hopefully. We'll Talk about samples. Work. I took. I was sent a GoPro waterproof case by a vendor to review. Yeah. And I hadn't taken photos of it. I just actually took it out of the box. Oh, okay. No, it's pretty okay. And and I took it to Japan with me. To see, I can do some shots, you know, some yeah. pro airs. Where and? I put it, my GoPro in. I was sitting down yeah. on a cafe with carpet and floor. Yeah, I must have been what, it's two feet maximum. I dropped it and the lens cracked. You mean not the GoPro lens? Right? No, the enclosure. The enclosure. I think it's done some damage to the front LCD on on, on of my GoPro, but it's just like you gotta be kidding me, right? It's just so, it's just not. It's like fragile. Is um, that supposed to protect the co a GoPro though? Well, it's supposed to be waterproof, but at least you have got, got to have some protective, some robustness to it. <laughs> and it's like you onto a copy you know, and it cracked. They're like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. And then he sent me an email last night. It's like, oh, how are you finding it? And I replied back, I'm not finding it because it literally it's shattered. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, Jesus Christ, you want me to review it? You sent me another one with an improved build, otherwise, no bother. Seriously. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the what you call it, third party cop, well, I'm gonna say copy, they replicas, right? Or, or case covers and, and protection. I mean, they work so so. Um, but that, that one, how much? I no comment, but yeah. uh, it's on Amazon. They sent me, um, they sent me those free links from uh -huh. Amazon. I, I just bought it from, I got it from them, but they no, seriously. Okay. I can't remember the brand and I can't remember everything. I don't know, all I remember is we broke. So I did a GoPro and I didn't shoot my GoPro. Apart from shooting a time lapse video in a car, and that was it. That's all I used my GoPro for. I literally had my whole array of equipment with me. <laughs> like the DJI gimbal and my, my, my prop DSLR with me, my holiday lens on it. It's, it's how the whole works. And my 360 camera, I had to get it out. Oh, so, so you were at New Year? Japan, yeah, right? we, spent the, we spent the new year in Nagoya. Uh -huh. So did they have any celebration like... Uh, they celebrate, they don't go to pubs and stuff, they go to shrines. All right, right. They go like, they, they, it's like dong at 12 o'clock the bell and then they go into the shrine to worship, to get the blessing, you know, good year, good yeah. luck blessing. It's so organized there, it's unbelievable. Polite, organized it's and... Over polite, is to a point Surprisingly affordable, right? Very affordable. I mean, with the with the exchange rate of the U.S. dollar being so strong, it's uh, and and Japanese everything is cheap anyway. So with the with with, with the exchange rate being like so lopsided for us, it's mm -hmm. like you couldn't you couldn't spend your cash 
Quick enough. <laughs> yeah. You buy, yeah. you buy, you buy, you can buy everything left, right, and centre. You come home with like bags and bags of shopping, and you can't lease and realistically any any money. It's just silly. The meal there, like fantastic, you know. Uh huh. Yep. So, oh yeah, I forgot to say, Happy New Year, and hope you had a great Christmas. So this year, 2017 is going to have tons of stuff for our, for our site. Got loads of uh, new things happening. I won't say much, but it'll, you'll uh, you'll find out as soon as uh, we do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, lots of things happening, and it's going to be a great year with tons of reviews, tons of um, of things happening at Kids Site. So let me uh, bring us some of our review roundup. So let me get this. Up. There you go. So reviews and. Uh, been a busy month actually. December. Let me start with something first. Yeah. I'm the only one posting news to the point I can't write anything about it anymore. <laughs> All I literally do is copy paste the press releases. Now. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, there's so much news, and there's n I have no time. Yeah. So we're looking for news posters. News posters, guys. I'm, I'm hoping to get together a team of like four or five who from around the world, so it's like different time zones. So when, whenever one's off or ill or has their private life to do things upon a hard day, what the hell is that banner? Which one? Oh, forget that. It's, okay. Uh, it's, uh, so when we work on a hard day, we still have at least two or three people to cover on a daily basis. All you need is about what, 30 minutes of time. Oh, okay. No, some just you can be opinionated if you want. Just some bare, the most basic cropping skills of photos. We have no sound apparently. Oh, it's your encoding again. There, no, that's live. Um, it was you put the volume up, yeah. There. Yeah, look, we have sound. Your speakers are not working, yeah. Your speakers are not working. You so, need to reply. Oh, yeah, sound works fine. Your speakers are not working. Sound works fine, yeah. So, speakers all you work. need is very, very basic photo resizing skills or cropping skills and literally be enthusiastic to post the latest tech news gadgets whatever pcs cases yeah phones apps software anything games and all up yeah. to because our, our page you could still expand yeah we've got tons i mean from anything from gadgets to photography to gaming esports anything so you know it, it doesn't literally take probably maybe just a few minutes of your time in the day so so anything, if you're if you if you're into your area specialist, like you know graphics cards or maybe just gadgets, you can do it from a phone if you want. Yeah, you can yeah. do it from the WordPress app phone. You know. So news, if you if you're interested in this news posting role, we got we got like please apply. Let us know, and uh, we'll guide you through the steps. It's very simple. Uh, we we use um, CMS WordPress. So easy as hell. It's and, WYSIWYG. Uh, we have a team of people. They still use that term WYSIWYG. Yeah, we see yeah, yeah. It's we see what you see is what you get. Yeah. Same as yeah, it's the same word. Yeah, it's just copy and paste and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, if you're interested, just let us know. Uh, I think Wing and myself will, uh, you know, get through the. the, yeah. the Anything, any way you want. You can write your own blogs if you want. If you want yeah. to post news part, you want to write, do or, some artwork. Or if you have a build log that you want to post, yeah, you want to you post know? some videos for us, some fun gifts for us, or whatever. Anything. Yeah. We're up for it. It's just like it's just all me right now. I'm doing 30 news items a day, and it's just I'm up to like 4 a.m. Yeah. It's just crazy right so now. So I have to say thanks, Wayne, for all the efforts. I mean, I've, I've been trying to do some, but uh, yeah, tens of. CES stuff. is killing me. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's like every day I log on to like about. I'm I'm, I'm not joking. I'm logging to about 70 websites. There's um. It's finishing this weekend, I think, and, then, so and then also station. then my inbox will have another hundred emails, and I have to, I have to sift through the spam first, and I sift through stuff that not worthy. I just can't be bothered with that stuff, you know. And then I get to the juicy bits, and then I have to put them up, you know, copy paste now. It yeah. is too much work to do. Yeah, that's why my build has been temporarily paused right now because we'll start it back up this month. Right. I need to. I need to have all time towards the end of the month. I need to find it. But I need to sand down the faceplate and respray. And then, because of the cooler master, they requested us to do more uh, videos of us doing some modding work. And he want, wants us to wants me to film myself on the rooftop spraying. So which means I have to set the camera up. And then. No, just use the uh, 
Set the, set the trap on Earth, put your uh, iPhone, and just do live streams. No, I'm just going to most likely. I'm, I'm going to use my DJI and then and find me. Follow me. <laughs> and I, I think that's it. And, and yeah, so and once that's done, I've got to figure out how to mount the faceplate, which I haven't looked into yet, but I have. Yeah. Yeah. And then the cable tidying is like the bane of for me. Oh, yeah. Let, I let, hate cable tidying. Later, I'll show you what's happening with the build. So I've done some, but I know that I need to do more. And um, that the more involves actually cutting down the length of cables and modding the cables. You have to cut the cables? Jesus Christ! I have I have full ATX power supply full cables. It's like that, ah. and then by cases, what well, I got this one. Oh, okay, that's true. So basically, I need to cut like eight eight tenths off, something like that, four fifths off at least right. of each cable. And I'm I'm just not looking forward to that. And that's why I'm delaying it. Okay, so yeah, going back onto the review. So we've done quite a few. We've done the MSI Z170M that was in our project ice stream, and then we have instant 360 review. The you've been using that, right? The 360. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good? that's good. It's convenient. Yeah. Does it stream as well? Yes, it does live stream, but I haven't I haven't played with it. Either. Okay, uh, but the uh, the Hellfire M2 SSD. Get that was like one T, isn't it? Is that one type right? No, yeah. it's 240 this one. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Then there's uh, Art Chris did the Arctic Artist Arctis 5 Steel Series. That was that's quite nice actually. Mm. Then you got your Corsair fan. Yeah. The, the bright simple. LED one, right? Super bright. And then the Oxon, the uh, Ozo. Ozo, Exxon, the gaming mouse yeah. with the RGB. Then I, I, I took a look at the uh, W3 water block and thermal tape. It's okay. Acrylic, see-through kind of thing. Um, no, other the the Raystone Pro is better though. Uh, better performance. Then we have the Mini GeForce GTX 1050 Load. Ti Mini, and this one we specifically requested because it was smaller than fit in his uh, project build. Um, Spire, you know Spire? Yeah. Uh, they were a very kind of budget brand, but now they come more mainstream. So this one is a cube chassis, very small ITX kind of thing. And then Inno 3D finally <laughs> contacted me about reviewing their GeForce GTX, the iChill. Um, nothing special. It it's, works. It's, it works, GTX, G, you know, 1080. Uh, there, this is the gig version. Bloody the hell. crucial uh, SSD M2. Um, if you run off default, there's the speed is okay, but there's applications on applications. There's a not drivers, drivers, the software, isn't it, right? So if you run it with along with this, and the performance is apparently good. So then there's the Harpoon RGB mouse from Chris. Uh, I checked out the uh, the SSD A Data XPG, which I haven't done for a while. So I meant to do it last year, but. Yeah, anyway, we, I, 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 I missed that one. Familiar. Yeah, I missed that one. So like, it is again, uh, and I bought another crucial RAM. But it's you have another crucial set, have you? Uh, this is my yeah. This is tactical. Mine was the Elite. Did you do that review? The Elite one, yeah. Uh, form so so okay, and then the uh, the Nith ro rocket mouse, and check this out. We also have in contact with Mushkin US. So if you remember Mushkin from way back, they used to make some brilliant memory. Um, I was speaking to the, uh, the CEO guy. Um, he said that it was back then amazing company with you know huge amounts of uh, interest with the overclock and RAM. Then it kind of moved away from that and kind of you know dipped. Then uh, it went. Someone else bought them out and then and then they did something else totally different. And now, um, so now they're taking this back, and this being bought back, and then it's based in the U.S. now, and they've got their own factories and uh, warehouses in the U.S. and they concentrate on performance memory. And only I think a couple of years ago, and coming this year, they've been pushing their RAM. So we got a review coming soon, the SSD, and some more RAM products. So yeah, uh, thanks Chris for that. Um, so that's the review roundup for the last couple of months. More stuff coming out. Next or next week and this month. Oh shit! What have I got to review? I can't remember. Yeah, a couple of things. But yeah, I've still got to do a motherboard. <laughs> I've done oh that. yeah. Oh, yeah. Heads up as well. We're going to be reviewing some P PSU house supplies. 
we're not the technical kind, right? It's more the user kind. In other words, plug it in. It looks good. <laughs> the uh, you know the it's RGB. We'll look at the twelve volt rail and stuff like that, but we won't do the huge the uh, what do you call it the t technical stress test. stress test stuff which you find in the labs because all this equipment is huge. It's crazy cost, but yeah. We'll do some really simple end user type of tests, and uh, yeah, we will see more of that in the coming months. Mm -hmm. So, project updates you just talked about your. Um... Yeah, so it's filled with water now. Yeah. It's according to it. it actually runs, but then obviously because there's no room inside it. And okay, think about it there's one graphics card in there with a little mini fan, and it's got a heart. Yeah. There's got the power supply in there. It's yeah. got a fan of some sort in there, somewhere whirling around. Then you got the. I've, I've got the one case fan. What what that I'd cause there for the radiator, radiator, and that's not realistically a water cooling radiator yeah, fan. Yeah. It's not enough drag. Yeah. So, and there's no room in it, so that it does get hot. I think the default I sent you some temps. The default was okay. Um, well, you were able to overclock it, right? I will clock it. If I if I if I put it four point two. And I ran Prime, it hits over 70. Easy. But then this is the weird thing. This is the really weird thing. It's like, I, I switch off the Prime. 40. Yeah, it's because the Prime uses all cut water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the thing is, it doesn't cool down to 40. It's actually 75. Drops. 40. So I'm so, guessing uh, the, uh, that's the thermal diode in the uh, in the. So yeah. actually, on the CPU, it's measuring like that. It's not actually measuring the top of the CPU how hot it's getting. It's, yeah. it's a bit weird how it is. So I think more concern concern is is you just check out the temperature of your the coolant as well. Uh, but I can't. Is that thermal? I took it off. Oh, I took it off. I did take it because it's tacky. That little thing. I uh, can use it, but it's a bit tacky. I couldn't stick it anywhere properly. Uh, it could have. I mean, I, th I think the coolant only about forty-two degrees. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But you know, so, I, I, so obviously, ran it four point two E. Yeah, it's actually stable. It can probably go to four three, four four, easy. Yeah, easy. So, right. so it's, a, it's an easy system to play with. You know, MSI is really easy to. I like their BIOS. They're really good. Yeah, and, simple to use. And their yeah, software. I was, I was very surprised. And the software I... inside Windows is like it's it's just yeah. easy to kind of overclock. Press click, apply, clock. Yes, yeah, that's it. That's it. So yeah, apart from that, then, so so, it runs right now. Mm -hmm. It's just the aesthetic. I that's the hardest part. I'm always never that great. My aesthetic is the last hurdle now. And I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't want it to finish. But then obviously, we've, we've got more projects coming up, and I need to find room. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, that, is that's not. Is, is someone going to send us a P one? You want a P1? Get the P1. It's, a, it's an ITX. But we have a P3 in, in stock. Right yeah, but have you seen the P1? I, I, it's very small. It's, it's an smaller. ITX. It's basically. Uh, it's a mini ITX case. Two thirds of that size. Exactly. It's just manageable for me. I got no room. Yeah, we can get one for you if you want. And yeah. then I want a C270 ITX motherboard. Uh, they, uh, yeah. they are. They released it. They released it. I think. They released it. MSI got a um, gigabyte has them. It's on basically. The the 170 and the 270, the board layout is exactly the same. It's, they're just replacing the chipset. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, so for yeah, that, you one would be nice. It's only this, this big. It's smaller, yeah. This big. It's it, fits, it only fits a 240 radiator only. That's okay. Mine's, just, it's just mine's a 120 right now. Yeah. 240 radiator. Because this one, the well, three. Does Thermotic do small PSUs to fit them? Uh, no. What the hell? But no, no, you can get the uh, PS2 the, ones. The S SFX, S S oh. S S T X. They crippled. No, they're not crippled. They, they they run a full system. It's just that it's uh, well, smaller. What graphics card am I putting? Oh yeah, oh yeah, the drains. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if you can get a pretty powerful one, uh, I think six fifty seven hundred will do. Yeah, a lot smaller. Could that could that P one fit my graphics card in? My graphics pretty big. No, because it's the graphics card. It's a vertical. A P1? Yeah, or is it horizontal? It'll fit, of course. Are you sure? I'll fit a full size graphics card. No, no, not full size. Why not? Because it's the length. The length of it. It's long, isn't it? If you look at my system right now, it sticks out quite a bit, right? That's a, that's a, not a full size uh, graphics card. That is, isn't it? That's a. 
That's the two fan, twin fan. Yeah, but they just the, make it smaller fan. That's the three fan graphics card will go will, will a bit longer. Oh. Actually, it might. If you get a thin radiator, then fine. This is a fat radiator right there. Yeah, but thermal tape is in the P1, it's all their stuff in it. I can't really put another no, yeah. brand radiator on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they, they got their thin uh, radiators. So, so with that, that, that build, you can plan it. No, no real rush on that. <laughs> I still got a P3 and an Inwin 805. I might start with the Inwin. Inwin's a MIDI, smaller one, smaller than this MIDI. MIDI, MIDI's that big, isn't it? I'm no bigger than that. Ah, that's that's a, not that's, a MIDI. That's a prop. That's a full That's mid, a normal ATX then. That's a MIDI tower. This, this is a, this this is meant to be a MIDI tower, but it's a it's a full size MIDI. Our MIDI MIDI's tower. back then by the Dell, so that big. So, okay. Yeah. So this yeah that this is a MIDI. Then the full tower is up here. And then, uh, and then the mini, mini, yeah. So that'll probably be a mini, not a micro. It's a micro. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, so uh, project updates. Yes, project updates. Oh, he's gonna flash you his thing now. His blue thing. There. Gonna flash you his blue thing. Yeah. So this is the uh, project build I'm working on. Let me get out of the way for him to flash um, his blue thing. So I was I was uh, I was in conflict kind of thing. I didn't I couldn't know I didn't know what to base my theme on. I, I was thinking about it on the map. So eventually now I found out. Okay, let's do this uh, cute kind of um, theme. It would be do me do re mo, right? Do re mo. So that's an anime character, Japanese anime anime character, and blue. So. I decided to print this thing blue with uh, some decals. So let me just bring it up to you guys. It's big. It's huge. It's massive. So you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. Maybe I need to bring a, a kind of um, yeah. This this will work. Right. So this is a based on the Cooler Master. I just want to crush it. Mika Five. It's gonna crush it. Oh god. <laughs> oh, man. Knees. Will it work? Yeah, here you go. So this is uh, based on the, the blue and white thing. Right? Yeah. Blue and white thing. So you can see I put some grills here. Yes, from your auto car shop. You can get some cheap grills. What time do we get it from? <laughs> what yeah. time is cheap? It's cheap. It's cheap expensive shit. Really okay. expensive. We've got a custom made. <laughs> You know. the, then we have uh, three fans. I know they're they're not the bright ones, but they they work. Um, then um, I had two radiators from Blitz Power. So uh, no, I did. Sorry, uh, uh, reservoirs. I was gonna get a big one, but well, you used to play with small ones. Yeah. So I have two radiators. Sorry, two pumps. Two pumps. Uh, pumps at the bottom here, right? And two reservoirs, and I put them together like that. So I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Do you think it's gonna work? It should work, right? <laughs> you hope it doesn't just drain it in. <laughs> then we have a, a flow meter, and it's coming up to this uh, 120 radiator up here, and this is just going to cool some stuff. Um, and we're also going to put, put in the uh, Bits Power uh, GP block on our GeForce, right? So that's thank you, Bits Power. You've been a gem. Yeah. And then the radiator goes into another 120 radiator at the top here. Um, so yeah, it's kind of half built. We're waiting for a board and so on. So. So yeah, as soon as that comes in, we're gonna start to finish this build. And yeah. we have uh, more grills on top here. Yes, yes, grills. And some nice decals for the front here. Right. Some nice blue decals. So, and then I couldn't find anything to fit the back here bomb. So we've kind of used a kind of foam, kind of plastic kind of thing, which, <laughs> Uh, it should work fine. We'll, we'll find out. We'll I'll find make out. sure it won't fire. I'll rip it up and bite into it. And then um, the, the other part was to actually do the front. Do the front, I'll bring it out now. I'll kind of half spray it right now. It's, uh, Why does it look wonky? Which one? Which one? Why does it look wonky? Have you, have you covered it? Yeah. What have you covered it with? So it's actually ready to go. So now I've painted the blue, but then I need to peel this off. So this part is the white part. And it's bleeding. A little bit, a little bit. I can, I can just 
juice. So now we have the, the white. Uh, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. And then I've, I'm, I did kind of this as well. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Uh, I'll fix it again. It's like a vagina. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not a professional paint person. So, but it's, yeah, it's kind of, so now I've got this kind of, this kind of thing. Looks like a you need to mask. buy. You need to buy really good quality 3M masking tape. That's that stuff doesn't bleed. Yeah. If you use normal masking tape, it will bleed. You got some some bleeding there, but I'll figure out some stuff on it. Don't worry. But yeah, that's kind of. So what I've done is I've drilled some holes around the Cooler Master logo area. Why? And this is where the LEDs is going to go. It's going to go. Yeah, um, yeah. It's not fully finished yet. I'm still gonna, I still gotta, you know, lacquer it and stuff like that. But yeah, it's in progress, guys. In progress. So that's the uh, build update so far. And now, so for some competition. Again. Yeah. So, so if you notice, we've had some competitions on our website, and the first one is. Uh, well, last last month, someone actually won the Splice uh, Zotac treasure box. So I need to send that out. You uh, haven't sent it out yet. Nope, nope. So, oh, so we're gonna send it out this month, and then also uh, I didn't make the announcement for the uh, Patriot gear. So Patriot keyboard, RGB gaming keyboard, RGB um, mouse, and also the headset. You'll get that in Christmas time. <laughs> By the time you say this shit out. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I need to make the announcement today. So let's bring up the um Let's do a fairer one this time. Uh -huh. And even more fairer. What's the competition in detail? This one here. Uh, how many uh, how many people did we get that to? Uh this is the complete gaming set, Patriot gaming set. So this one we had over 138 entrants. So thanks for uh uh, <laughs> that we'll be announced on 31st December. So we'll make an announcement today and then we'll announce some more uh, competitions. So, how are we going to do this? Well, last time we did the ra random letter generator. Mm, oh, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. How about, how about uh, a number then? Random. 139. Yeah. yeah. 139, isn't it? 138. 138, sure. So we'll do a, a, a random number generator. Uh, one to 138, and we'll pick one from the number. Yeah. I've got to search it on the phone. <laughs> Random number in a range. It's Java. Random.org? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's random.org. Random. Yeah, that's the one. Can I set a range? Go, yeah. Generate 100 random edition numbers, just one. Each edition should have a value between one and 138, right? 138, yeah. Okay, it could be anything. It could be what's part two. Go get numbers. Get numbers. Get a number, and the number is one oh six. One oh six. So I go count one oh six. Damn you! <laughs> count it backwards then. Had three. Oh yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. That's true. That's true. We'll count backwards. So how many? We need to count thirty two. 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 Yeah. Two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and we have it. Why do we always have to pick a name we can't pronounce? It's Dimitri Budilin. 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 Wait a second. Let's, has he got the text right? I so want this for Christmas. Damn yes. you. Yes. Well, at least we didn't cut that one the other way. Oh, that one. It's completely. It's, that's a Russian thing. Yeah, but I can't read. <laughs> So it's a global event, so everybody, anybody can enter. So yeah, well done to Dimitri. Oh yeah, we need to make a point that if we send it out, it's not a problem. But if if you on your side it's custom tax, you pay for it. Yeah, unfortunately, of course we'll mark it as gift, and so there's no. I mean, 
I think the, the mod, my box competition, we sent it to Italy and he uh, received it fully, no problem. So, Where's the video? Uh, he hadn't uh, given me a video, but he gave me some photos, so I'll, I'll post that with the with that. Oh, by the name down, take a photo. Yep, so... So, how, how, is, how about Dimitri Pudilen? He has a week to... Uh, you have one week to... Get back to us. If add him on, on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Message him. <laughs> no, he's so freaking lazy. Can't I take a photo closer. Or he zooms in. I zooms in. <laughs> oh, he's so freaking lazy. Then All right. Contact him via Grinder. Add him as your bum buddy, and then send us your details, and then we'll ship it over to you. Yep. So, in 2018. So well done. Thank you for entering and be part of our uh, competition here. So the next one um, we announced is the. Um, thermal take. The thermal take water cooler. So it's the Water Extreme 3.0, all in one water cooler. And it's the same one you're using, actually. Yes. So tell us about that. Is it good? It works very well. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing one, I gotta say. But it's, I mean, most all in ones are pretty damn ugly, aren't they? They're okay. I haven't found one that's like, ooh, that's nice. No, there's no. no they, they, apparently, they all, the Raging Tech was quite nice. Ooh, I don't know. But it's, they all have this big radiator, and, they, and the fans are all a bit. Yeah, looking. And then they have these two big fat tubes yeah. coming out, and they go to a water block. And this is it. The water block itself looks a bit. They all look a bit naff, don't they? Even the Cooling Master one's a bit yeah. plain. And, it's reasonably round, right? Why can't they do an RGB version or like a chrome plated one, you know, or an acrylic one, see through one? <laughs> well, it's just simple, it's just change of material. It's because the pump and everything else that's inside that. Well, let's see the pump. Yeah. You know, but then it just looks a bit nah. So this one. But it, work. it works really well. I, I ramp it up, the overclocking and everything. It doesn't budge the temps. It's like one degree or two degree yep. increase. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. It's good. So this one, it, you need to again like our Facebook page, uh, obviously recommend recommend a friend, and you have to type in. I still bought this for 2017. Yeah. And well, we'll probably have to change all these in the next future camp. I've got ideas for future competitions. Yes. Yeah. And this one is uh, 31st of January this month, closing date. So sign up and. Uh, yeah, 2019. Comment on this competition you'll get that and also uh, to celebrate the new year and also the chinese new year we're going to be giving out this amazing prize it's the his radeon rx480 graphics card 8 gigabytes gpdr5 yes we're going to give that away right if you win this we want you to put a video for us i don't give a shit <laughs> that's one of the conditions you want to enter you want to give a video of it okay yeah, do a video yourself installing the graphics card or even just just gaming. You know, gaming on it and just say, hey, thanks, Funky Kid, for this amazing prize. And, you know, yeah, you know, something like that. A photo, it's okay, but we'll probably want a little short video if you can. Yeah. Even on your iPhone, just record your iPhone and then send it over or upload it. Yeah, upload it onto our Facebook page. That's, that's fine. Yeah, that's we should do that. I and mean, they should do that. I mean, Jesus Christ, this thing is not cheap. And Jesus Christ, it's not going to be cheap chipping it over because it's so damn heavy. Yeah, remember all of this is basically out of our own pocket. We're actually sending it by our own. That's why it's taking so long. We could have kept it ourselves. You know? I could have upgraded this instead of doing two days instead of keep my ten sixty. Yeah, this is okay. It's not bad actually. Yeah. Uh, if you if you have if you're lucky enough to have another one, it doesn't have to be the same brand. But if you're so as long as the Radeon RX four eighty, you have two of them. You can crossfire them, and it equals to at least a ten seventy or higher. Yes, you can check out an article on the uh, you know, Crossfire performance of these two cars. So yeah, this is great. So we have uh, competition announcement winners. Well done to Dimitri for winning the uh, Patriot Gaming uh, accessory uh, set. Um, then we'll take water cooling all in one. That's the end of this month. And also uh, this Radeon RX 480, which will be uh, close to date February, in February. So yeah, definitely join for that. So any more I'm updates? Good. I'm out. Yeah. So thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll try and keep the uh, the, the video podcast uh, as regular as we can. Of course, we have our own very uh, busy schedule. So until then, thanks for watching, and check out our website. Make a comment, thumbs up, like us, dislike us, whatever. As long as you, you know, visit our site. That's all good. Spread the word.
Thanks for watching. Till then, bye guys. Bye bye.